All right, so welcome back to the channel. In this series, we are comparing Stanley to Lee Nielsen. Now, if you know anything about those two brands, you know that they are very similar. So we're going to take a look at a few of them side by side, take a deep dive into their specs, see what was changed, and maybe discuss why. Stick with us. The first plane I'm going to look at in this series is the 40 and a half. I know that Stanley made a 40, but Lee Nielsen didn't. Uh, the Stanley 40 is just slightly smaller than the 40 and a half. When it comes to a scrub plane, you want it to be bigger because you want to remove more material fast. You don't want it to be too big. I've seen some people with huge scrub planes out there and it might work, but it takes a lot of effort. These ones take a lot less effort. So in comparing these, there's some things that are obvious. Um, Lee Nielsen used cherry. I don't know what Stanley used. Lee Nielsen used bronze cap. Uh, they also used ductile iron for their base. That's supposed to be the stuff that you can throw on the ground and have it not break. And then Stanley used cast. So Lee Nielsen's obviously going to be heavier. Um, bronze adds to that. The thicker base with the ductile iron adds to that. The thicker iron adds to that. So let me go through these piece by piece, and I will show you the differences here. Um, overall weight while they're assembled. So Lee Nielsen is 2 pounds, 9.7 ounces. Stanley is 2 pounds, 2.4 ounces. Now, I don't think Lee Nielsen said, oh, we need to make this plane heavier. I think that's just what happened when they started upgrading these different parts because you don't have to have a heavy scrub plane for it to work. Now, iron thicknesses. The Lee Nielsen is 3 16 and the Stanley is 1 8 as you see, all these different reproduction irons coming out, like the Hawk, the PMV-11, uh, Lake Erie, all these different ones, IBC makes them too. They make thicker irons. Those are statistically better. Um, in my opinion, they keep an edge longer, and there's also a lot less chatter with them because the iron's just, just stronger. So now when it comes to the caps, obviously one's bronze, and then Stanley stuck with their cast. So here's the two caps side by side. The first things that I notice is the thumb screws are different sizes. So for the Lee Nielsen, I did this one in millimeters because it came out to weird inches. The Lee Nielsen is 18.2 millimeters and the Stanley is 16. So it just gives you a little bit more to grab onto there. The other thing you're going to notice about the caps is the Lee Nielsen tapers down where the Stanley does not taper down. So the Lee Nielsen cap is 3 and 1 8 by 1 and 5 16 the Stanley is 2 and 15 sixteenths by 1 and 3 sixteenths. So with this one tapering down, I like that idea. It definitely could have been Lee Nielsen wanting to save on material. Definitely could have been that. I like that it tapers down because when you're cutting with a scrub plane iron, you're only using the middle. So you really only need pressure across here. You don't need it all the way to the corners because the corners aren't doing anything on a scrub plane. So that could be that difference there. The other thing you're going to notice is Lee Nielsen's is slightly thicker, but it's also solid where the Stanley is recessed. Now, this solid surface, you would initially think, well, it's touching the blade. It's not because this is a screw cap. So really only the bottom down here is touching the blade, but it just makes it stronger. It's stronger to have a cap that's, that's complete than recessed. Um, Stanley, when they first started making planes, not the scrub planes, but when they first started making normal bench planes, the caps were solid, and then they switched away from that to save on materials. So that's the differences in the caps. Now, irons, I already told you that they were different thicknesses, but they are basically identical. Um, I bought this scrub plane used, so typically there is a little bit more of a profile on here, but I kind of like it like that, where it's not super rounded because if it's super rounded you're only taking a little bit if it's more flat right here you're taking a lot more um and i haven't really had any issues with it now this lee nielsen is a2 i'm not sure what the old stanley used it might have been a2 it might have been oh one I, I probably should have looked at that before starting but i didn't so there's the irons i guess i can show you the thickness side by side so you can see how different so this one's the lee nielsen so there's the thickness side by side. Now, when you look at these bodies right away, what you guys see is 
the mouth, where the mouth is. So the Stanley is only, what, an eighth? It's an eight, eighth of an inch longer than the Lee Nielsen. But look where the mouths start. Look where all of this in here is and how that's different. So right away we notice the mouth size. So Lee Nielsen, the mouth is half an inch. And with the Stanley, it's 13 30 seconds in millimeters. That's 12.8 and then 10.3. So Lee Nielsen widened the mouth, which is good because you're trying to clear shavings. You don't want anything getting clogged and you're trying to hog material. So I like that they made this mouth wider. You can also see that they made it flat across. Where Stanley's, it's rounded. Now that's not necessary. I get that they were matching the profile of the blade. If you can see that right there. But it's not necessary. It's, it's, you didn't need to do that. The other thing you're going to notice is how far back the mouth starts. So with Stanley, there's not a lot of reference before the mouth, which is okay because it's not needed on a scrub plane. Then when you get to like a number five, number six, number seven, number eight, you need that reference point because you're trying to make a very flat surface. With these, you're not. So you don't need a lot of reference up here. So the Lee Nielsen mouth, starting from tip to the mouth opening, is two and seven eighths. The Stanley is three and one quarter at the widest part up here. So I like that they moved it forward because you don't really need that reference point. The other thing you're going to notice is these posts are off. The opening in here is smaller. The opening in here is wider. This post, let me see if I can show you side by side. Can you see how this post is higher up and forward more than the Stanley? So the height on that, from the base of the plane up to this post, on the Lee Nielsen it's one and a quarter, on the Stanley it's one inch. They both have a rest back here for the back of the iron, I just call that the back of the mouth. Both of these are three eighths, but when you get to the top up here, I just call it the top rest, I'm not sure what the official names for these pieces are. The top rest on the Stanley, they continued with that three eighths. Or excuse me, with the Lee Nielsen, they continued with the 3 8 With the Stanley, it's only 3 16 So Stanley increased the reference surface for the iron here. The other thing they did, they moved this closer. So on the Stanley, you can see that from the back of this piece to the top of this, it's 1 and 1 8 On the Lee Nielsen, from the back of this to the top of this, or to like the base of this, it's only three quarters. So they moved all of that in closer. And to keep the same angle, they needed to move where that post was too. The last thing about this part is the height of these. So on the Stanley, the height of this back support is one and one half. On the Lee Nielsen, it's one and three eighths. So they made everything more confined. They made everything more confined, but that provided it with more support because the more spread out you are, the less support you have. The fact that this is only 3 16 that's very little support and it's spread out. So it's still the same angle. When you put the blades in here, they are still at the same angle. I used one of these little things and I tested them. They're still at the same angle, but this one's providing a lot more support than this one is. So that's why Lee Nielsen changed that. Now let's look at the hardware while it's assembled and then I'll take it apart and show you the hardware. So looking at the knobs, I hate... <laughs> The Stanley knob. I don't like how it looks. I just think it looks weird. I don't understand the point of why it's got this weird shape. And then it's super skinny. And then, you know, it's it's just weird. So the width of the knobs for the Stanley, when we're looking at this part up here, it's, I did this in millimeters again because inches was just weird. So it's 36.6. This one's 37.8. So they beefed up the knob a little bit. Let me go ahead and take the knobs off and I'll show you. So here are the knobs beside each other. So as you can see, it, it's just a, it's just weird looking. I just don't like how this knob looks. So the middles in here are also thicker on the Lee Nielsen. So Lee Nielsen beefed up the knob and honestly just made it look better. Now when you look at this, it does have the base here, which in my opinion provides more support for the knob and less chance of breaking this bottom out versus it just being on here and resting on this just real tall post. That's what they changed with the knobs. When you look at them on the planes, the Stanley is significantly higher. I don't. I took them off, so now I don't know that I'm going to be able to show you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, 
But if you look at it, it's it's probably a finger thickness taller than the other one. I like that this is lower. I didn't like how tall this one. It, it felt odd in use. So that's the two different knobs. Uh, they obviously also changed the wood, and I love the cherry on the on the Lee Nielsen. So when it comes to the totes, as you can see here, Lee Nielsen has that extra screw on the bottom. Stanley just has a nib, and I feel like when you're using a scrub plane, you're putting a lot of force onto this tote. And what's one of the most common things when you're trying to find a scrub plane? The furniture is usually broken. That honestly, any plane, the furniture is usually broken. So I liked that they beefed this tote up. So I can stack these ones side by side because I didn't take them apart yet. So you guys can see the geometry there of the, the totes. So Stanley's does have more of a forward angle. Lee Nielsen's is more of an up angle. Lee Nielsen's is also taller. So let me flip them the other way. So there you go. You can see that Stanley has more of a forward angle. It looks a lot more dramatic in the camera than it actually is. There we go. That's a little bit better. So Stanley has more of a forward angle, which is good on a plane because you want it pushing towards the mouth. Now, in my opinion, with a scrub plane, that that really doesn't matter. This angle on here is still good. Um, this tote's a lot smaller. Then this one fits my whole hand. So let me... Take the totes off and we'll show you those ones too. They both did still stick with the, the two-piece design. This one doesn't come apart because it's all stuck, but they stuck with that. For the front knobs, Lee Nielsen went with the solid screw. Stanley still has the two-piece. So for the bases of these, the one thing that I noticed right away is this, this post is taller. So there's that. So that post is three eighths and on the Stanley, it's only a quarter. In my opinion, this is giving you more support for the knob or sorry for the tote because you're, you're pushing with it. And if it's real low, there's a chance you're going to blow the back of this out with, I know that people have seen before on planes, they have the screw hole here. This is the nib that I was talking about with Stanley. It just rests in here. So here they are like that. So you can see the difference in the shape. I like what Lee Nielsen changed. They still kept the same style, as you can see. They definitely kept the same style. They don't have it leaning as forward as much. That's okay, though. And obviously, the cherry looks better. But the funny thing is, this knot, this tote is heavier than this one. When you, when you actually have them in your hand, you can tell that this one's just slightly heavier. I want to take a second and tell you guys that I started something new. It's called Buy Me A Coffee. So if you guys are enjoying these videos and you want to see more content like this, there's a link in the description where you can buy me a coffee. I'm also going to be offering memberships. So if you are newer to woodworking, there's a couple different tiers of memberships there where you can get access to an exclusive email that's just for Batcave members where you can ask me questions, get advice, bounce ideas off of that kind of stuff. Uh, so check out that link. I'm also being told that I need to start doing that, that like and subscribe thing. So like and subscribe all right to show you guys an example in use i got them both sharpened up and ready to go um, this is just a rough cut piece of maple so i'm going to start with the lee nielsen There's a good one right there. Good example. All right, let me set these aside. Flip this over. Get back to another rough side. Try out the Stanley. I noticed too on this one, it's... I don't know if you guys will be able to tell, but the screw was actually cast in it wrong. Can you see how it's crooked? It's not bent. It's... it's the, the hole was tapped wrong. So I thought that was funny. I 
It's actually a pretty thick shaving. If you guys can see that. There's the Lee Nielsen side. Stanley side. It actually looks like Stanley's side is cleaner. Let me try Stanley on this side and see if they get any tear out because Lee Nielsen got some tear out right here. So I'm thinking it might just be the side of the board. Oh no. This is also thicker. Let me back this off a little bit. the Lee Nielsen. The Lee Nielsen. If it'll focus. Maybe. So Lee Nielsen, let me get another one with the Stanley. There's the Stanley. Grab that Lee Nielsen back. So there you go. I think he shows you guys that Lee Nielsen gets it smoother. Pretty short board to be going across the grain, but Stanley Lee Nielsen. Taking some real thick shavings. Now I can't find them. There's one. Stanley, Lee Nielsen. To start off, if you guys were expecting Lee Nielsen to blow Stanley out of the water, I want to remind you that these are scrub planes and they're very simple designs. And they're only really meant to do one thing, which is remove a lot of material fast. Did the Lee Nielsen do better? Absolutely. Can they both do the job? Absolutely. Um, the Lee Nielsen, it's very tough to explain, but it was just smoother to use. The best idea or the, the best example that I can come up with is using the Lee Nielsen felt like I was using a bench plane that was just taking thick shavings. When I was using the Stanley, it felt like I was using a scrub plane. That's evident in the shaving. So when you look at the Stanley shavings, they're more like dragon scales. And when you look at the Lee Nielsen shavings, they're more like thick bench plane shavings. So absolutely, the upgrades that Lee Nielsen made made a difference. I felt more support. I felt like I was more supported going through the cut because they beefed up this bedding, scooted it closer, opened the mouth, thickened the iron. They also made it more comfortable to use. So the Lee Nielsen tote is bigger. The knob is lower. The tote is taller too. When I was using the Stanley, the tote is smaller. The knob is taller. So as I was using it, I didn't feel like I had as much control over the plane and getting like a, a straight cut. It felt like it just was kind of going wherever my hand pressure was. So Lee Nielsen definitely did a good job upgrading this. Now I didn't really want to review prices because it's really tough when it comes to vintage planes to price them. So right now it's the holiday. So technically it's the slow time. So the prices are down. The last um, 40 and a half that I sold on uh, the Can I Have It web 
Can I Have It Facebook group. I sold it for, I think, 115 bucks. Um, you guys can check eBay sold to see what they're currently going for whenever you're watching this. The Lee Nielsen New goes for 225 So if you do want top of the line, and if you do want the best, then absolutely it's the Lee Nielsen. If you don't want to throw down the money for that, the Stanley is still going to do the job. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, comments, anything like that, feel free to leave them below. The next video that we're going to be doing is the number fours. So I have the Lee Nielsen number four and then a ton of examples of the Stanley number fours. And we're going to look at all of them to see what Lee Nielsen changed, upgraded, and why. So keep an eye out for that. And I hope you guys have a good one.